Hi again class, uh, now that you've got your level 2 done, or your basic sort of level design done for level 2, it's time to start updating your items and your minions for their level 2 behaviors so that they properly sort of show up and do the things you want them to do in each level. So this is a pretty easy update to the existing code we already have, but I want to start first of all with our um, with our items. So let's double click the green flag to restart the game. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my items exactly where I want them for my first level. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this one right here. So this bat is protecting it. I'm going to drop this one in this corner. So that bat is protecting it. And we're going to leave these two here. Okay. So I've got some basic um, a basic setup for my first level. So let's go to donut number one right here. Let's make sure you hit the stop button here because that allows all the XY coordinates in here to automatically update. So double click on donut one. You can see that that's this one because it's highlighting with the little blue outline. We're going to add just one little bit of code to it to start off. We're going to go through all our donuts and do this. So we're going to go to our motion and we're going to go down to our go to XY coordinate. Now what this one does is it basically just sets where this item is going to show up the first time you enter the game in level one. Making sure that that stop is clicked, so this is updating with the same XY coordinate as the position right here. We're just gonna drag this XY coordinate right here, drop it in right underneath the show tag. We're gonna do that for each of these. You'll notice that they each update to the correct XY coordinate for the position of that, uh, of that donut. And we're gonna do all four of them like that. Okay. So now, for instance, let's grab all these donuts right here. We're going to stick them right in the middle. Um, and we're going to start our game, and you'll see that they automatically go to the XY coordinate that they should go to for level 1. Let's stop this. Okay. So now we need to define where they're going to go for level 2. And you got to make sure this is stopped so that you can see uh, kind of your level layout when you go to level 2. So let's go to level 2. Go to costumes, and let's just select level 2 here so that it shows up on the screen. So once again, I've selected the level sprite and gone to costume 2. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rearrange my donuts in um, in where I want them in my level 2. So I'm going to grab this one, I'm going to drop it here. This one I'm going to drop here. Um, this one I'm going to put um, in the middle of this room. And this one I'm going to put in the middle of this room right here. Okay, so now I go to donut one. So this is donut one is the one I've moved right there. Make sure I go to its code. And you'll remember in the level here it said, when I click on my level sprite, in the previous video we said wait until points equals four, switch costume to level two, and then broadcast level two. So that broadcast is going to send a little message to... Um, to our donuts. So the way we're going to do this is donut number one, we're going to go to events and say when I receive the level two broadcast, I'm going to drop that in there and making sure that this is stopped, we're going to go to motion and we're just going to go to the new coordinate that I've dragged it to here. So now you can see that if I click on this donut, I've moved it to x162, y negative 37. That's what's showing up there. And go here. And I'm going to just reappear. So I'm going to show. So now instead of making eight, four new donuts for level two, I'm just going to reuse the four donuts that were already in my level one. And I just have them appear in a new spot. And they act, essentially act as a new donut. This forever check right here, if touching scratch, then hide, change points by one. This is still active. So this is still going on. It'll still sense that scratch is touching them and it will improve the points by one. But now it'll happen a second time because it's shown itself again and gone to this new position. So same thing. We're going to go to events when I receive level two, and we're just going to do this in each of the um, each of the uh, of the donuts. So motion, go to x y coordinate. Donut three, control. Sorry, event. When I receive level two. Go to XY coordinate and show 
And the last donut. When I receive level 2, go to XY coordinate and in our looks, show. Okay, so this is the little bit of code right here that basically tells us when we get level 2 what to do. It's very, very simple. You're just going to a new XY coordinate and reappearing. So let's double click the game and test it. Go grab that, grab that, and grab that. Okay. Ooh, just died there. Okay. Oh, okay. Now I'm going to grab this donut. See, it goes to five. Grab this donut. Go down into here. Grab this one. And go up there. Okay. Got all eight donuts. Nothing's happening now. Um, I'm basically just... But I can now collect the four donuts to get in their new positions. So I haven't also done my win and lost screens yet. You can see my lives are going down like negative two points or eight. Um, for some reason, our level is not changing. So let's just take a look here in level. Oh, looks like I forgot to put in my last video a change uh, level. So let's do that right now. I'm going to change level by one. I'm going to drop it up there. Looks like I missed that. So change level by one. And uh, now, when we replay this again, I'm just going to quickly do a test. Click, click, oops. Click, and look, taking a look at the level there. Click. Okay, so level equals two. Then I can grab all my donuts here. Okay. So we've got the donuts working. The next part we've got to do is change our minion behavior. Now, this is going to be a little bit more complicated. So I'm going to put this in a separate video now that we've got the items behaving the way we want our items to behave in level 2. Now remember, this can be extrapolated for as many levels as you want, right? You can create as many um, level costumes, right? You could just keep on continuing there and design all sorts of different levels. Um, and then have the same thing goes for the code. So wait until points equals 4, change level by 1, switch costume to level 2, broadcast level 2. This can just be duplicated, you know, maybe at uh, points 8, we change the level again, and we switch to level 3, right? Like we'd have to create a level 3 costume, we'd have to create a level 3 broadcast. But that's all can be dropped in that block of code, and it's just going to go down all the way from here, it's going to go, da, 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 wait, execute, da, 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 wait, execute, and that's how that works. Okay, so let's go on to the next video, which is going to be changing minion movement by level.